Hey everybody, this is Steve. Happy Heart Treasures. It is Thursday evening. Today is usually our big garage sale day, but it is Memorial Day weekend, so there wasn't crap for garage sales. So I wasn't going to go out. I decided to go out, and I'm glad I did. I didn't get much, but I got a little bit. So I'm combining, because Donna's gone, I'm combining my garage sale finds from today with tomorrow's what solds. So this is going to be, first half is going to be garage sale finds, second half is going to be what solds. If I happen to go out tomorrow and find more stuff, that may be on the end of that. But I don't know if I'm going to go out or not because it was slim pickings today. But, like I said, I'm glad I did go out. So let's get into this and get through it all. Alright, like I said, I didn't find much today. But I was out for about three and a half, four hours. So, I mean, I gave it a good effort. But I found the stuff right away. So that kept me going. And I went through a bunch of... Not very good garage sales by the time I was done, but whatever. You gotta kiss a few frogs in order to find the princes. I just happened to find the princes first this morning. First of all, we used to shop for clothes a lot. I don't enjoy shopping for clothes. It's not fun. I'm looking for the stuff that I'm looking for, but went to one place and they had clothes and it was 50 cents. So I grabbed some clothes for the booth. I'll just show you the clothes that I got. I also got some other clothes, not for the booth, but here, let's go through the clothes quick. All right, these are all for the booth. I laid them out because I only have one hand because I got to hold the camera. So these are for the booth. I paid 50 cents each for these. Here's a long sleeve, heavy, heavy knit Husker shirt, followed by just a good vibes t-shirt. Thought that looks fun. And then a Huskers, another long sleeve Husker shirt. You don't get a lot of long sleeve, you know, in the summertime. So 50 cents is good. Columbia Huskers fleece, sleeveless V, sleeveless vest. I mean, fleece. Sleeveless? Fle I can't say it, guys. <laughs> I can't spit it out. Sleeveless fleece vest. That is what that is. And this looks like something my old boss Brad would wear. Him and his sleeveless vests. Uh, anyway, I got 50 cents for that. It's a great deal. And then SpongeBob Nickelodeon shirt. Couldn't turn that down for uh, 50 cents. Those will all go in the booth from $8 on up. I don't know, the sleeveless vest, maybe 15, 16 bucks or something, but eight to $12 mainly. Okay, and then I was at another sale. I generally don't look through the women's clothes much, but I did, was by a table and looked, and they had what our friend calls sparkle butt jeans. We got some sparkle butt jeans, and I don't shop for them enough to know like what I should spend on them. And what I mean is like miss me with the rhinestones or with the whatever they are, rivets and crap. Uh, that type of thing there was only a couple pairs so i did actually message Teresa and say what would you pay for miss me jeans and and she said i was fine to pay five dollars a piece so i got it's actually one pair of miss me and two rock revivals i think all right i got this pair of what's that rock revival jeans 29s um paid five dollars for those i well you know i looked at them they look like they're in pretty good condition i looked and try to make sure there was nothing missing on the ones with a bunch of stuff on them and i didn't see anything so uh those rock revivals and then we have these are the miss me's uh i don't see any missing blings because i've been doing such a bad job of checking things over lately i wanted to really check but i don't think there's anything missing so those are size 29, paid $5 for those. And then these are also rock revivals with some sparkle, sparkle butt, um, some stuff going on there. Those are 27s and I paid $5 for those. They're all in good condition. And then at the same sale, well, they had this actually just for the booth. It's a t-shirt, that's the back. It's a Santa Cruz skateboarding, Santa Cruz t-shirt. You can see the hit on the sleeve. And on the front, it's got the small, small patch there. I got one dollar for that to the booth, and then they had several vineyard vines tops, but all of them had stains. This is a hoodie. This one I looked over several times, didn't see any stains. That's the back, and then the front has the little hit here, and then it's got vineyard vines down the sleeve. So I picked that up for four dollars. At the same sale before I looked at the clothes, I actually bought a few things and then I went to leave and then I decided to go back for the sparkle butts. So uh, pre-clothes, this is what I bought. This is an old transformer, it's missing the top. It says Highway Patrol. They had three bucks on it. Uh, I looked this up and I saw one of these sell 
just like this one, missing the top for like 30 bucks free shipping, 36 bucks free shipping or something. It's not up for $3, uh, it's worth a shot. So, this is just an old 1991 Marlboro Racing uh, cup. You know, it changes. You can see the Indy car or whatever. And it was only 50 cents, so I just picked that up for a dollar auction. And then this was a, is a Sony micro cassette recorder. It does have a micro cassette in it. So let's see what's on that. But uh, the battery compartment is clean. I did check. It wanted $5, and this sells, I think, if I remember correctly, for $30 to $40, I think. It's an M470. Um, so I picked up that for $5. I did grab two cups for Donna's propagating. I got these at a different sale for 50 cents a piece. I thought they were super cute. I thought she would really dig that. So uh, that was a dollar there. I spent a total of, I think, $56.75, I think it was. So much, much cheaper day, but, you know, don't have a van load to show you. At the first sale I was at, I found this. This is called a shock chock potato. It's a hot potato game, but it is zap you. You have to put batteries in. He said it works and everything. Paid a dollar for it. I thought it was fun. I thought it would be fun on the dollar auction, but it sells for like 10 to 15 bucks used. So I'll test it out. I'll toss it to Donna and test it out. There's normal, lame, and extreme, so might be interesting. I've never seen that before. Got it for a dollar. Man, I just realized I don't see something here that I bought and paid for. I think I left it at the garage sale, honestly. I need to check the van. So I did a good job of checking my items over today, but apparently didn't do a good job of making sure I had them with me. Yeah, that sucks. I bought a, uh, it was an old mac tools uh kind of like a kind of like, it looked like a battery charger but it was like a voltometer or something like that i don't know what it was it was vintage <sighs> paid five bucks for it and i didn't take it maybe if i go out tomorrow morning and you know swing by there and see if they like are holding it for me but that really bums me out there was like one none listed and one sold for 50 bucks so i was pretty happy with that but i didn't take it man i've been messing up a lot here lately I wonder if all the YouTubers show you all the bad buys they get and when they mess up and stuff. I'm sure they'd show you some, but or am I screwing up more than other people? Or am I just telling you about all of it? <laughs> okay, I have five more things to show you and they all came from the same sale where I paid $5 extra and didn't take that thing home. So uh, we'll just, uh, I guess, I, if I got five things, everything was a dollar more than I thought here. But whatever, it's worth it. First of all, I got these two trolls. Uh, I know Donna enjoys the trolls. I don't know if they're old. I didn't look up year, didn't look up date. I just thought they're cute. She wanted two bucks, so I gave her two bucks for those two. Um, don't know nothing about them. And then, as much as I don't like clothes, I dug through their clothes. And first of all, I found this Patagonia pullover. Looks like it, I mean, it's got some pilling, but Patagonia, she wanted five bucks for it. So I took it for five bucks, give it a wash, and it will either do good in the booth or probably on eBay, honestly, with the Patagonia. Uh, if it's in as good a shape as I think it is. And then something we never find, rarely find, uh, this is a zip, quarter zip, that's Cool Brand. We finally found another Cool Brand, K-U-H-L, and this looks like it's really nice condition. Nice quarter zip there. It is a large, says it's alpaca fleece. So, I guess, but cool brand. That's a great, great brand if you can find it. And then a couple more things. There was a big, big lot of bags. See this duffel bag? This was in a big thing of book bags and a bunch of used stuff. And I was like digging through it and by golly, wouldn't you know, look at that. And I looked this thing over. The stitching looks excellent. All the little buttons say coach on them. The leather tag is here. Um, the tag inside looks great. Everything is looks perfect. Like all the stitching, everything is centered. Everything is, the zipper still papered. Like this is a brand new or never used anyway, coach bag. And I got it for $2. So, and I am convinced it's legit because everything is just perfect on it. So that was a cool find. I forgot to tell Donna about that one when I talked to her earlier today, so surprise. Two more things. First of all, guess what I found again today? Guess what I found? Guess what I found? 
another Canon Coolpix camera. This one is a lesser, older model. Um, this is a Coolpix L27 in kind of rough shape. Uh, I need to test it and everything, but not worth nearly as much as the other ones that I've sold, but I paid a dollar for it. And then last but not least, my find of the day that I think my find of the day, uh, I always say it just takes one good sale. Well, Amy from Beach by Repeat said that her husband, Matt, says he's only one knife away from you know a successful day and so he like looks for pocket knives and things well i didn't necessarily find a knife i mean it is a knife at that same sale i found this leatherman and it apparently i got it for a dollar and it is a leatherman juice kf4 which is apparently like a limited edition release thing and used these things sell for i think it was around 75 bucks so i got that for a dollar it's very clean not scratched up in excellent condition so yeah, heck of a find there. So that's all my finds from today. $56.75. Except I forgot something at a sale, I guess. Um, but so now we're going to fast forward to tomorrow morning when I do my shipping. And I'll show you what's sold. All right, good morning, everyone. <laughs> that's funny to me. To me. It's a little breezy, so if there's wind noise, I apologize. It is Friday morning. It is 10.15. I've been out garage selling for two hours and 20 minutes since I left the house. I've went to about 15 garage sales, I would guess, all across the north side of the city, um, a kissing frogs. I'm out there kissing frogs, that's all I'm doing. I spent a total of $4.75. Like my plan was to show you shipping and then show you garage sale finds, but it's not gonna take long. $4.75, I bought five things. I paid less than a dollar an item. And was it worth it? Not really, but you know, whatever. First of all, 25 cents. Got another mug for Donna to propagate plants in for a quarter. And then for 50 cents, I got this Dale Earnhardt Jr. t-shirt with the front and the back. Uh, just for, for the booth, throw it in the booth. Those were at two different garage sales. I spent 75 cents at those two garage sales. The other three things I bought for $4 at one garage sale literally like the second garage sale i went to it's been a rough couple hours uh here we go first of all squishmallow 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 i think i don't know whatever donna likes picking these up and this was a dollar and it's really clean so i grabbed it secondly i have this north crest north crest blanket throw they wanted two dollars for it i didn't even take it out of the package like because i didn't want to try to stick it back in the package fold it up so it might be completely stained, smell like smoke, I don't know, but whatever. Anyway, the last thing I bought, the only thing I probably maybe should have bought, they did have a bunch of DVDs and they were only a dollar a piece. And then they had this one and it had a sticker. There's some of them had pink stickers and this is sealed. So I asked, is the stickers, are they a different price? They said, oh no, they're a dollar. Everything's a dollar. It's just that way we know whose it was. So I grabbed this brand new, didn't look it up. Um, but since it was new sealed, I thought that's ah, probably worth a dollar and it turns out this worth like 30 35 bucks there the plastic is like split along the bottom but it is not opened so i guess that made it worth it so i made a little bit of money but i got other things i need to do so i just headed home all right let's head downstairs and do today's shipping because we do have some interesting things to ship out and something i don't want to ship I was actually thinking about taking it off of eBay and just putting it in the booth because I don't really want to ship it, but now I have to ship it. Hey, I almost forgot before we run downstairs, I was going to show this and ask, what should I do with this? Does anybody know, what should I do with this? So we have a house in the neighborhood that's being sold. It's all cleaned out. It's for sale. They like put their last trash out and this was sitting out by the trash can and I don't normally go grab it from trash, but it was just sitting there really close to our house and I grabbed it right here. If I Google lens it, it comes up as a motorcycle exhaust, but I don't know if it's stock. I don't know if it's new, if it's used. I don't know. I don't know nothing about it. There's a piece of tape there. I don't know. Is that just recycle? Take it to the recycle place. I mean, I couldn't just let it go to the trash. 
So I grabbed it and now it sits by my house and I don't know what to do with it. So if anyone has any information for me, <laughs> let me know and I'll do something with it. All right, we're gonna run through this. I'm gonna try to do this kind of quick because I don't want this video to take forever, but we do have 15 things on eBay and one thing on Bonanza to ship. And I'm gonna do Bonanza first so that I don't forget about it this time. So let me grab that. Is this Lewis and Clark uh, outdoor garden boots? I don't know, muck garden boots, shoes. And they sold for $35.79. And they're going to Maine. Maine is already on the board. We only have about 10 states left. Okay, uh, real quick, and I really do want to do this quick. Real quick, in one of the comments in the last video, somebody said we should do a drawing when all the states get colored in. I have a question. I have not talked to Donna about this yet. She's still out of town, but I have a question about this. What about Washington, D.C.? What do we do? Because Washington, D.C. is marked here, and there's just a star. Are we supposed to get a sale in washington dc i mean that's more like a city isn't it like it's not really a state so we don't technically have to get a sale there do we so if we do that might take a while but um put it in the comments do we need to wait for washington dc to make the board official or not that's three sales from bonanza how fun is that first of all in box O, we have an ornament christmas ornament this is a hallmark blown glass Christmas ornament. I did not mean to open it, but since it opened, I'll just show it to you. I accidentally pulled the top off right there, and that sold for $12.50, and it is going to Ohio. Ohio is already on the board. Next up in box 41, in box 41 we have some stuff. There's a Jesus bus, there's an owl pair, not those. Koala, must be this one here. A lion and cub and turtle. Let me get this out. This is one of those masterpiece collections, Home Co. Um, from 1985. Lion cub with the turtle there. Uh, and that sold for $16. And it is going to Tennessee. All right, next is in box J. But it's Leslie J, so LJ. Uh, right there. This came from the Leslie buyout. Oh, well, there's all my erasers I just love. And it is this Nutcracker. And is that open? That does open. Right there. That was part of the Leslie buyout. This sold for $13.49. And it is going to California. Right there. And then we have a Noble Outfitters Western shirt. It's got little, like, what is it, cattle skulls or something on it. And that sold for $18.74. And it is going to Tennessee as well. Next is box 72 right here. And then box 72. We're looking for a little figure. There's some pipes. There it is. This little figure. This is a pixie elf tying a rope. I don't know. Just a little figure. It's vintage. It's from Japan. Sold for $15. And it's going to Colorado right there. Next up from the $700 book buyout, book and DVD buyout, there's this Road to Perdition books one and two. And these sold for $29.99, and they are going to Washington. All right, then we have another Christmas ornament, and it's in box 89. Way down there behind all the stuff. Okay, I got a few ornaments in here. I believe it's this one right here. 2005. Yeah, 2005 Father Christmas. This sold for $18.39, and it is going to... MI, so that's Michigan. Yes, Michigan is on the board. Next up in box 93 is something that Donna pointed out in one of the videos and said, hey, somebody needs to buy this. And somebody bought it, but I don't think it's a viewer and I'll tell you why. There's box 93 and right here, this smart egg 
Uh, really hard smart egg. I got this at a garage sale for two dollars and it sold for fourteen dollars And the reason I don't think that it was a viewer that bought this maybe I'm wrong Hopefully I am but if I am then I hope you leave a comment, but this is actually going to Germany that's a new one for us So now I have to write Germany on the board and Make it so that it doesn't look like the letters are bleeding like I did with Canada so I will work on that when we get done here. Our next item is in box 80, which ironically, I moved all them boxes because they were in my way over here. And that's where box 80 is, of course. In box 80, we are looking for this right down here. This is a school memories place for your child's keepsakes. It's brand new, still sealed. And is this old? Now this is from 2020, so it's not like vintage, but it's new for your kids' memories. That sold for $10 and is going to Virginia. Yeah, I'm not sure where Donna got that. Might have picked up a garage sale. I'm not, or might have been a clean out. I don't know. All right, next in box 97 is something else from the $250 buyout recently. All right, and here we have the Sears brand uh, radio Walkman cassette player. This is brand new. Like it's obviously it's opened and everything. Uh, the earpieces foam are deteriorating, but it's like brand new and it sold for $40 and it's going to ME, which is Maine again. So that's a couple things to Maine. We've had three things to Maine, I think this week. All right, the next item is from the, we reference it from time to time, the Good Friday buyout. That's like the first buyout we ever did when we started doing this over three years ago so on good friday of 2021 i would guess because we quit in 2021 so yeah it was probably that good friday right here this is this is one of them the set of four that's all that's in this box actually a set of four of these they say it says circa 1910, uh, Cambridge glass pattern, ribbon, red flash, gold trim. So it's that stack of four right there, but those are really cool, huh? I mean, four little candy dishes or something. They're really cool, but those sold for $37.25. I will carefully wrap those up and get those sent out. And those are going to Ohio. Next up is another great buy. Great buy. I guess it was from the book buyout. The $700 lot. Uh, what a deal that was. And here's another super, super rare book. Uh, this is the Warriors official movie adaptation. Uh, I had a hard time finding anything on this book. But I did find that there was one I found that sold for like... Some ridiculous, like a couple hundred dollars. I put it on at a hundred and one twenty nine ninety nine. I got an offer for seventy five dollars, and although that's really good for a book, I knew that you know I'd only found one of these that sold, so I counter offered for a hundred dollars. I sweated it out, kind of like Donna's cow, and like the next day they did accept the offer for a hundred dollars so this book is going out to wisconsin and yeah that is a super rare piece of history for somebody and i hope they love it okay the next one honestly you guys i was filming down here two days ago when i was shipping on wednesday for the last video and as i was filming and as i was shipping i thought to myself self i need to talk to donna because I look at this wagon right here, it's got a light in it, and it's fairly, you know, I mean, it looks like it's somewhat fragile because it's, that's Italian for fragile. Um, anyway, I just saw that, and I thought, you know, I don't know that I want to ship that. I, I, mean, I, I can do it. But I don't know that I want to, and we have the antique booth, and so you know what? I'm going to talk to her. Maybe we'll take it down and put it in the antique booth and try to sell it there instead so I don't have to ship it. 
and then it sold. So it sold for $35, and so now I'm shipping the wagon today. I'm sending the wagon to Iowa, and if I had any reason to go to Iowa, I don't know where Lamar's Iowa is, but if this was close, I would be like, oh, I'll just hand deliver it, but we already have to go to Columbus tomorrow and then Kansas City on Sunday, so no traveling to Iowa for me. All right, in the last video, I talked about flashlights. I had two left. Well, let's grab them both. Somebody else noticed that we only had two left, and so they bought both of them for $23.98, and they are going to Virginia, another Virginia buy. That wraps up all the flashlights. So, uh, how many did we have? Like 10 or 11 of these, I think. And we probably made about $120, and I paid $250 for the whole lot. So that was a great, great find there. Next up is in box 95. This is the last item, guys. We're about done. I left my last box. Oh, box one is empty. I'll actually leave it down because we'll work on that one soon. Uh, box 95 right here. I got this at a garage sale for $1. I picked it up because I've sold this actually before. It's an Oregon Trail handheld game. And the Oregon Trail, where do you think this would sell to? Weirdly enough, it's going to Wyoming. Which, if you look, that is a new state, y'all. So I have Wyoming, and I gotta put Germany on the board for today's updates. That's everything that's sold. I'm gonna color the board. I'll come back, I'm gonna tell you bye, and I'm gonna get all this stuff shipped out. All right, you guys, there you go, Wyoming. I don't even think I'm outside the line, except maybe the little bump on the bottom there, but whatever. And there's Germany, doesn't look too bad. So that is our updated map. It is Friday, May 24th, 2024. This started on May 6th. So that's where we're at. Remember, what do you think about Washington, D.C.? Do we need to sell something to somebody in Washington, D.C.? It's just a star. So Alaska, Utah, Montana, North Dakota, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Vermont, New Hampshire. I'm looking at you guys. Where you at? Let's do this. All right, time for me to get to shipping. I want to get all this stuff out of here, and I want to get my goal today in the garage. is not dollar auction. It's not anything else. I have on a table the Lamax stuff from a few weeks back, the uh, haunted house type stuff. The spooky town is what it's called. And my goal is to get all that worked, see if they're broken, get them listed, get them fixed, whatever. That's what I really want to accomplish today after I get everything shipped out. So thank you all for watching. Appreciate you. Donna should be back tonight. We have to go look at something in Columbus tomorrow, possible buyout situation. And then for us Sunday, we go back to Kansas City to take her mom back down south. And I don't know, Monday's a holiday, so no shipping Monday uh, unless I feel like getting ahead of the eight ball. But hopefully we have a good weekend of sales. I want to get a lot of stuff listed since the garage sales are absolutely done for this week. Next week, there's a bunch of neighborhood sales. There's several small town city sales nearby here. So I'm assuming that we will be out and about hitting that. So thanks everybody for watching. We, we both really appreciate you. Don will be back soon. And yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. If you're not subscribed, do all the things and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.